Well, I'm currently, um, I am a professor right now at Suffolk University in Boston. I'm in the Center for Entrepreneurship there. Excellent. And they do call me Prof Dom. I have students from all over the world. They're typically freshmen that come in from China. Um, they come in from uh, places as far as, away as Quincy or Marshfield, you know, or, uh, or Nashville, Nashville, New Hampshire, yeah. but they also come from uh, everywhere across uh, Russia, China, Saudi Arabia, Guatemala, Colombia. They come from everywhere. So I have, and most of them are international, actually. I'd probably say that two thirds of my uh, classroom is international students nowadays. And, and you teach art in the entrepreneurship department? I do. I teach in a section under entrepreneurship that's kind of unique. It's in the creativity and innovation space. Okay. So I'm in the set of entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. but my courses that I teach, one is called Creating the Dream Team, and the other is called Good to Great, Design Your Portal to the World. Mm -hmm. And the students come together from the College of Arts and Sciences as well as from the Sawyer Business School into these electives that are in the creativity innovation space. What they're doing in creating the dream team is they're teaming up to create startup businesses. Uh, we have different challenges. Uh, the first challenge this semester was called Cookies Extraordinaire, create a baking company. Mm -hmm. uh, they do a presentation and they actually do peer review and grading. Uh, second uh, that they're in right now uh, is called Drones R Us, friendly flying fleet. Uh, create a, uh, a business, a uh, friendly business involving use of a drone. So that's what's happening in that course. What's happening in Good to Great is they just designed their own personally branded websites mm -hmm. with video work on them, uh, music, uh, etc., galleries, uh, social media connections. So they're basically learning how to use technology in a creative and innovative way, and, and then also how to uh, be a leader of a team. I'm very relaxed right now because of the music playing in the background. Good, good for you. I think you have a calming presence. So what, <laughs> I you, brought a lot, you brought a lot of props with you today. Seeing you brought that up, uh, let's talk about the uh, stress uh, and the statistics on that, and then let's do something to wipe out okay. stress together. That will be great for all your listeners, and basically for all your clients and all your uh, sponsors that you have for radio entrepreneurs, which I think is phenomenal uh, that you have this set up here. Uh, okay, so let's talk about stress for a minute. Uh, in the country today, uh, the most stressful job that we have. This is a head of uh, military enlisted. This is a head of a heart surgeon. Uh, this is a head of uh, firefighting. Uh, it is working parents. Don't have any of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's a double whammy with working parents the way I look at it because um, when you look at the causes of stress in the country, and this is borne out from different studies that have been done with the U.S. government, uh, which I'll get into in a moment. But in effect, what happened was uh, they looked at, is it financial matters that are putting stress on people? Is it medical concerns and issues? And the answer was no. It was job pressure. Hmm. And job pressure was breaking down into three main areas. Number one, co-work attention. That's why my team building is so important. Number two, uh, unru what I eloquently say is unruly bosses. Hmm. Uh, and number three is work overload. That, that's a whammy, and mm -hmm. you add that and combine that as a working parent, so they, it's just a double whammy. Mm -hmm. it's, and that's why we're having all these issues with people. You've got to be able to slow down. And one of the areas that's also a big problem is the smartphone. It's actually, <coughs> it's actually causing stress. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times we talk to people and say, well, I was on vacation, but I was on my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's amazing that people are actually, they go on vacation, but they're still working with their emails from the office. And it's just not good. It's not quality time for them and their families and loved ones. It's just it's not a good situation. And they don't realize it. Most of the time when I talk to a busy executive, successful people, like all the people that come on your show, uh, I can't get this type of an answer. Oh, I not handle the stress. I, I can control it. I, I know what I'm doing. And the thing is this. If you get one person who's de-stressed, that doesn't really help the rest of the team because mm -hmm. they're all running around. So what, <laughs> what's wrong with that person? Right. So, <laughs> so there's... So here's what's happening. It's a team sport getting into stress, so therefore it has to be a team sport to get out of stress. So we have some techniques that go right at the heart of what the government studies say that people are doing to wipe out stress. And here's what they're doing. They're doing number two now. This is not the number one thing that they're doing. The number two thing that they're doing is they're learning how to do breathing. I call it deep chi breathing, mm -hmm. which I'll have you uh, demonstrate 
and we'll train the audience uh, in a moment. The second thing that they're doing is they're spending time with things like yoga or qigong, mm -hmm. which I train, and I'll show you. We'll do a qigong exercise that helps uh, loosen up all the meridian channels in your body and helps you de-stress. And they also do uh, tai chi, and I do. I'm going to show you one aspect of tai chi as well here today. Uh, it's called tai chi ball. But the point I'm driving at is that the government did a study. And they said the number one, number two thing that people are doing to wipe out uh, technological and email stress is deep breathing, what I call deep chi breathing. The second thing that they're doing is they're involving themselves in either yoga, qigong, tai chi. The third thing that they're doing is they're spending a little bit more time with acupuncture and, and with chiropractic than they used to. And the fourth thing that they're doing is they're getting into meditation. We don't have time for that on this show, but perhaps in the next session, we can definitely do a guided group meditative journey, and you will absolutely love it. Excellent. And we do this as a way to build teams and how to have teams de-stress each other. So that's what we're into right now. But I didn't mention what the number one thing was that, that people were doing to wipe out technological and email stress. No, you didn't. I did not. And I'll tell you what it is. It's a non-prescription, non-herbal supplement that people are taking. Can you guess? Coffee? <laughs> I actually drink tea. There's a reason behind that, but that's a whole other show. Uh, the difference between coffee and tea. Uh, actually, you know, it's omega-3 fish oil. Oh, no, sure. You take it? Mm -hmm. I, I do. do. I do, do as well, yeah. So basically, uh, our technician and our, our host and our guest all take omega-3 fish oil. And it's actually for stress reduction, believe it or not. That's the number one really benefit from it. There are other benefits as well.